meeting pitch. Remember, the primary purpose of the pitch is to sell, not to teach. Your job is to excite, not to educate. A successful pitch must tell a good, clear, easy to repeat story. The story of an exciting new startup. Now, well, the first thing you're going to want to do is create a pitch deck. This will be the primary tool you use when connecting with investors. The key is to remember when crafting your meeting pitch. The first is use pictures or charts when you can. Second, engage the investor. This is not a lecture. You want to ask questions, engage them. The third one is provide examples of how customers use your product or service. This is great because it will give the audience an opportunity to better understand how people use what you're offering. And finally, avoid using commonly heard statements like, if we get 1% of the market, we will be successful, or we will have first mover advantage. And finally, avoid lots of text on the slides. Remember, less is more. A great template to use when crafting your pitch deck is from Guy Kawasaki's The Art of the Start. Now in this, he talks about a cardinal rule, and the cardinal rule is a 10, 20, 30 rule. 10 slides, 20 minutes, 30 point font. So the meeting pitch template that Guy Kawasaki outlines is as follows. The first slide is the introduction. This is where you give your company name, your name, your title, and your contact information. Now remember, everybody can read this slide, so cut to the chase. This is where you want to summarize what you do. Second slide is the problem. You want to describe the pain that you're alleviating. The goal is to get everyone nodding and buying in. Now avoid using citations. You want to show that you personally understand the customer and the problem. Three, the solution. Explain how you alleviate this pain. You want to make sure that everybody understands what you sell in your value proposition. Now remember, this is not the spot for an in-depth technical analysis. Explain just the gist of how you solve the pain. Slide four is your business model. Explain how you make money, who pays you, what are your channels of distribution, and your gross margins. Five is your underlying magic. Describe the technology, secret sauce, or magic behind your product or service. Aim for less text and more diagrams on this slide. An objective proof of concept can be very helpful here. Six, marketing and sales. Explain how you'll reach the customer and your marketing leverage points. You want to show the audience that you have an effective go-to-market strategy that will not break the bank. Seven, competition. Provide a complete view of the competitive landscape. Too much in this case is better than too little. And never dismiss the competition. Slide 8. The management team. Describe the key players on your management team, the board of directors, and board of advisors, as well as include the major investors. Now, don't be afraid to show up with less than a perfect team. Remember, all startups have holes in their team. What's important is that you recognize that there are holes and you're willing to fix them. Slide 9. Financial projections and key metrics. Here you want to provide a 3-5 to five year forecast containing not only dollars but also key metrics such as number of customers and conversion rates. Making people understand the underlying assumptions of your forecast is as important as the numbers that you have projected. Slide 10. Current status, accomplishments to date, timeline, and use of funds. Explain the current status of your product or service, what the near future looks like, and how you'll use the money you intend to raise. Share the details of your positive momentum and traction. And finally, use this slide to close with a bias towards action. Now remember, the goal of the meeting is to engage the investor so that they take the next step with you. Now this template is not written in stone. You can change the order and add additional slides. But remember, the attention span of VCs is roughly 10 slides and 20 minutes. Thank you for watching these videos. I hope they make a measurable difference in the way you pitch. And good luck.